Welcome class, this is from Pre Physics and our topic today is current electricity. The topic today is current electricity and this is a continuation of the topic we should cover in form 1, the cells, simple cells in form 1. So it is a continuation of what was covered in form 1. We are going to discuss various terminologies and the first one in part A is electric potential difference normally abbreviated as PD what is electric potential difference this is defined as the work done per unit charge in moving charge from one point to another it is defined as the work done per unit charge in moving charge from one point to another it is measured in volts. It is measured in volts using an instrument called voltmeter. The instrument for measuring the potential difference is called voltmeter. The second terminology is electric current. And the term current you define in form 1 and it is the rate of flow of charge. It is the rate of flow of charge. And we normally use an instrument called ammeter to measure electric current. The SI unit for current is amperes. Is amperes, which we normally abbreviate as A. It is amperes, which we normally abbreviate as A. And there you can see the diagrams for a voltmeter. If you look at the first diagram, there's a V. If you look at the gauge there, you see the term V. Term V simply means a voltmeter. And in the second figure, you can also see the letter A in the gauge. The letter A stands for ammeter. And the first one is what we call analog. We also have the digital. The one you can see in figure 5.2B. That's what we call digital ammeter. So in the laboratory, you will be able to use these instruments to set up an experiment to measure voltage and a current for various experimental setup. So how do we connect a meter and a voltmeter? How do we connect a meter and voltmeter? In experiment, you are, you are required that whenever you are setting up an experiment to measure current, Ammeter must always be in series with the battery. Ammeter must always be in series with the battery, while the voltmeter is always in parallel to the device whose voltage is being measured. Ammeter we put in series with the battery, which means the battery enters through ammeter and leaves. But in a parallel or in voltmeter, you set the connection in parallel. So, hope you'll be able to set up an experiment and maybe conduct uh, a connection between such uh, instruments. The next thing is Holmes law. Holmes law. This was a great physicist who conducted various experiments under current and voltage. So, he came up with a law which should guide you whenever we are dealing with voltage and current. So this law gives the relationship between voltage across a conductor and the current flowing through it. So it said that the current flowing through a metal conductor, the current flowing through a metal conductor is directly proportional the potential difference across the ends of the wire provided that temperature and other physical conditions remains constant. So it means the current which must flow through a metal conductor is directly proportional. Directly proportional means an increase in current also 
leads to an increase in potential difference. And there will be a condition that the temperature must be constant and other physical conditions. So mathematically, V is directly proportional to I. So to the symbol alpha, the symbol alpha means directly proportional. So V alpha I means V voltage is directly proportional to the current, which means if we divide V over I, it means V voltage over current is equal to a constant. Voltage over current equals to a constant. We replace alpha with a constant. So this constant in this topic, the constant of voltage of a current, this constant is called resistance. Whenever we divide a voltage and a current, we get a resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms. Resistance is measured in ohms, and the symbol for ohms you can see there is that symbol, that abbreviation there, like inverted, inverted U. I think you can see it very clearly. So V over I, voltage over current, must give you a constant, and that constant is called resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms, and the symbol is as shown below. So in the laboratory we also have resistors. I think you can see one there. If you go to the laboratory, it is very easy to identify it based on the, the symbol for homes. Let us now look at some two examples on how to calculate the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Number one, a current of 2 milliamperes flows through a conductor of resistance 2 kilo ohms. Calculate the voltage across the conductor. Calculate the voltage across the conductor. So you must check what you are given. A current of 2 milliamperes. So you must convert milliamperes to amperes. Remember, milli simply means over thousand. Uh -huh. You also given resistance of two kilo ohms. Kilo means a thousand of ohms. And we say that V over I, V over I equals to constant. And this constant was called resistance. So it means V over I equals to R. V over I equals to R. So if you cross multiply, V equals to IR. So that's the formula you are given there that V equals to IR. It is a formula which you need to memorize and you need to know how to use it. So we are asked what is the voltage? So are we given I? Yes. I is given as 2 milliampere. So we convert to amperes by dividing over thousands. So 2 times 10 negative 3. 2 times 10 negative 3 is same as 2 over 1000. That is for I, which is current, times. Resistance is 2 times 10 raised power 3. It means 2 times 1000. You convert kilo ohms to ohms which means you multiply by 10 power 3, so you to get ohms. And if you multiply very well, you end up with what it's called for voltage. Number two, a wire of resistance 20 ohms is connected across a battery of 5 voltage. What current is flowing in the circuit? So the question has been twisted now. Formula remains the same that V equals to IR. So we have been asked I. So we divide by R by R, both sides, and we say therefore 
I equals to V over R. We say V equals to I R. And the question is asking you I, the current. So what do you do? Divide both sides by R by R. And you end up with I equals to V over R. Then you just substitute the values. V is given as 5. R is given as 20. So if you divide very well, you get 0 0.25 amperes. So in any calculation which you are given, formula is always V equals to IR. So just play around, either get I equal to V over R, R equal to V over I, and you end up with your calculations. So in the next video, we'll be recording types of homic and anhomic conductors. We'll go into detail of what is homic conductor and what is non-homic conductor. So stay tuned and be updated. Whenever the video will be uploaded, you will be able to watch it.